In this video, I'll show you how to scan outlines of the biblical text from your favorite resources, then jump to a passage and see why certain divisions were created. One of the first tasks of preaching or teaching a passage from the Bible is crafting a thoughtful outline, one that breaks down a text, highlighting the major divisions and organizing the minor ones. With Logos, you can peruse outlines from your favorite commentaries and monographs and compare them side by side. So let's imagine we're studying through the first few chapters of the book of Romans, and you want to see outlines for this section of the book. You can access outlines for Romans in your related resources by opening all of your interactives. Then click to open Bible Outline Browser. With this interactive open, input Romans into the reference box, then hit Enter. And in a matter of seconds, Logos graphically displays outlines for Romans from across your library. As I scroll down, there's a general consensus that Paul makes a major break in his argument between 320 and 321. According to the Baker Expositional Commentary, 1 18 through 320 deals with sin, righteousness demanded, while 321 through 521 deals with salvation, righteousness declared. The New American Commentary agrees with this division, marking Romans 1 18 through 320 as dealing with the unrighteousness of all humankind, and 321 through 521 as dealing with the righteousness that only God can provide. Scrolling back to the left, I can click the reference for Romans 3.21 to view the biblical text and see why major commentaries mark this text as a dividing point. For starters, Paul uses a sharp interrupter, but now as a means of separating the inauguration of a new era now that God has intervened. Further, the refrain, righteousness of God, appears in verse 21, connecting Paul's comments from this point forward to what he previously said in his introduction concerning the righteousness of God. Looking back at the NAC, notice that this commentary breaks down 321 through 521 into three additional sections. The first is dealing with how righteousness is received through faith, the second dealing with Abraham as the great example of faith, and the third dealing with the results of faith. But notice this last section is broken down even further. To see a more detailed view of this outline, switch the browser view from Compare to Read. Then choose the New American Commentary from the options to the left. Now, open the section titled The Righteousness Only God Can Provide. Then scroll down and see how this commentary breaks down chapter 5 into three subsections. When we view the biblical text, it seems that a more natural division occurs between 5, 1 through 11 and 5, 12 through 21. The opening line, because of this, in verse 12, appears to point back to Paul's previous argument regarding the confidence that we can have in being declared righteous by God. So when it comes to crafting your next outline for a sermon or lesson, the Bible Outline Browser is a great way to see how other scholars break down the biblical text. To get started using Logos, click Get Logos 6.